Hello everybody, Will from Six Strawberries here. I am staying with Trevin. Yes. Trevin, you look like you've had a very busy day. Um, is oh, this yeah. indicative of any day that you're serving? Uh, definitely the weekends and uh, whenever it's sunny. Saturdays are always ridiculously busy and this is just another one of those days. I was told on Twitter that there's a bit of a musical background, backstory from this, this truck. Uh, is it true that this is owned by a KEXP, a former KEXP DJ? Yes, yes it is. Uh, Lisa was with KEXP for a good number of years. She moved down to Portland for another job opportunity with Brian and then ended up getting laid off and from there they decided to just open their own food cart rather than try and hack it in the broadcast world again. Well, let's talk about the food. Um, I had the special today. Tell yes. me what I what I had. Tell me about uh, today. The you had PB's Big Adventure, which is uh, corned beef, sauerkraut, Swiss, bacon, a Thousand Island, and uh, fries on a nice ciabatta roll. And uh, I think you got it spicy, correct? I did. So that means you had the secret artwork hot sauce, which is a hot sauce made here in Portland by a guy named Rob. And yeah, he he makes an amazing sauce. Is this a good representation of a big ass sandwich? Uh, it definitely is. It's definitely got the whole big ass feel to it. Uh, our main thing is that fries are on the sandwich and they're on every sandwich. You can't order the sandwich without fries. We won't let you. And uh, it's definitely one of our bigger sandwiches because it's got a couple different kinds of meat and the sauerkraut and everything piled on there. And uh, it's definitely a big handful as I'm sure you realized. Oh yeah, yeah. I was <laughs> I was taken aback. I'll, I'll bring the sandwich up onto the... Yeah screen here you can see I, I'm about three quarters <laughs> perhaps there and uh, this is actually breakfast lunch and dinner for me I, um, uh, my, I, I drove my wife uh, to Vancouver for an event that she was attending so I was like I'm gonna just hit up the food trucks today take some photos I picked at the I picked at the uh, fries for about five minutes before I was able to pick it up and take it by it is this is this you know sort of the general way of eating how do you how do you think people approach your sandwiches uh, well I try to tell people to eat it like a burrito sometimes I remember sometimes I don't uh, but hopefully I get it through to them that the best way to eat is like you would a big burrito just because you aren't gonna take a big burrito and unwrap the whole thing and then just kind of handle it as you eat it uh, just like with a big ass sandwich you want to unwrap it as you go so that it all stays somewhat in its wrapper and gives you a clear point of entry for eating. Right. I had to backpedal a little yeah. bit because I, yeah, I'd fully yeah. opened it. I um, realized what I got myself into. Yeah. I got a little self-conscious yeah. for a minute, like everybody, but I realized we're all in this together exactly. here. Exactly. So, and I had, and you know, I have to commend you on the amount of napkins you gave me. Yeah. That was perfect. Yeah. Um, uh, the, the fries on the sandwich, how often do you get somebody's, you know, how often do people get kind of uppity about not having the you know, the, the ability yeah. to take the fries off. Uh, I've, order. I've actually found a way to combat the uppityness. I just, rather than take the time and gently explain to them, they'll just ask me, like, and I'll get the fries on the side. I'm just like, we don't do that. And then I just move on to the next thing because, <laughs> like I think some people will get upset about it. And I mean, I understand that people want it their way, but we're serving you food the way that we make it. And if we don't serve it to you the way we make it, then it's not gonna be our food. We take pride in our food and we take pride in what we serve you. And if you like, if you get a sandwich without cheese, I'm gonna let you know that it's gonna be a dry sandwich because it was meant to come with cheese. And so if you get it without cheese, it's not gonna be what you expect. It's just like if you get a sandwich without fries, it's gonna be a big sloppy heap and it's gonna fall apart and you're not gonna enjoy it. And it's, that's not our sandwich. That's not what we wanna do. Well, that's actually a perfect lead into the fact that I am mega lactose intolerant. And I forgot to say, oh, can I have the cheese off it? But I'm very, you know, it's yeah. gonna be worth the pain. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna go through a little bit of pain. Yeah. But I, I'll actually say it was, it was the, I mean, I, I've had it how you intended. It was delicious. I love cheese. If I could get a, like, if there was a, a, a medical procedure for like $20,000 to be cured of lactose intolerance, I would be yeah. saving any, every penny <laughs> I had. So I'm really happy I had that. Um, I feel like it was very balanced. It was amazing. I don't want to hold you up from closing up, so thanks. No thanks so much. Yeah, thank you. Take care. Yeah.